Tonight, investigators are trying to figure out what caused a small plane to drop out of the sky near Palmyra Municipal Airport this afternoon. Neighbors say they heard the plane sputtering before it crashed. Casey Geraldo talked to one neighbor who called 911. Emergency crews showed up and had to take one of the two people in the plane out using the jaws of life. But Emil Johnson got there first to help. You know when a plane is in trouble. Emil Johnson heard the plane. But, 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 but. And the people in it. And the other one kept saying, please help me, please help me. And I said, we got people coming as quick as we can. Johnson watched the small yellow plane dive into a marshy area half a mile from the airport. Feet from his home. Your life just goes, oh my God, what's going to happen here? He called 911. The plane is just standing right on its nose. And jumped into action. Cutting branches so they could get in and out. And we got a, we got a highway back to it. Palmyra's public safety director says it helped crews focus on saving lives. We've got leaking fuel. We've got an extensive extrication going on. We've got people that are hurt and having that neighbor come out is very, very helpful. We looked up the plane's FAA N number and learned the 1945 fixed wing single engine plane is registered to Flying Hawks Incorporated Flying Club. The club's Facebook page says they operate out of Palmyra's airport. The club bought the airplane in 2016. Small was familiar with it. I've been trained on this exact plane before. He says emergency crews train with the flying clubs at the airport. Johnson says a crash is the risk he assumes living so close. You know that someday something could happen and you just hope it doesn't. He says in 30 years he's never seen a crash. And I don't want to see another one. Either. Small says the Federal Aviation Administration will be here tomorrow to start investigating the crash. He says this is the second in three years near the airport. We still don't know the condition of the two people taken from the plane. In Palmyra, Casey Geraldo, today's TMJ4.